OMG, I can't shame it, man. So one thing that I need to inform you before you use the Shuri Show is there is something called a timeline frame rate. Basically, it's a frame rate that your output is like show on your TV 30 or show on my country TV. I'm I gonna say 25, film 24, something like that. But the thing is, when you go to a master setting in the Shuri Show, if you import anything inside the project, see. We can't change a timeline from this. So, man, this is the first thing that you have to carry. This is the first thing that you have to pay attention for, man. When we go to the Domitri Resolve program, right? So, the first thing that we have to do is we go to the project setting. So, the setting here. Click, and then we go to the master setting. Timeline frame rate. So we have to choose the timeline frame rate before we do anything. So if I import any video to this one, Okay, I don't change the frame rate, but I do think I click where do a sound, do the stuff, everything you know, right? And then I just realized that I forget to change, I forget to set it as 30. So it cannot change. And if you change the playback frame rate, it's gonna go slower or go faster, so don't help. If you want to set it again, you have to delete it or Jeez, I mean that, delete it all. And then you will be able to start setting the timeline frame rate again. So don't forget, man, to setting the timeline frame rate. Think about your output, where you have to send your work, television, film, stuff, cinema, or YouTube, whatever. Choose the frame rate and then save. See you soon, man. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me on my Facebook page, Does the Hero Room, or Comment below on the YouTube channel. So, I will see you soon on the next episode. See ya. Live long and prosper.